touch it and uh, we see the teeth developing teeth right here. Lots of nerves. Those are all a whole leash of nerves. Look at that. That's just a whole massive tribe of nerves. Just look at it. I've never seen this. So many nerves just, just laid out. Is them right? Yeah. Just many, many of them in what? In cross section right here. Give a chance, give a chance. These are the um, concha. Very, very, very good right here. Okay, wait a while, wait a while. These are septum. Notice how vascular rise. Lots of nerves. See all of these are nerves in cross section right here. Those are nerves right there. Many, many nerves in cross section. Glandular tissue. Lots of glandular tissue. So these spaces are filled. Okay, like all of this would be filled with blood. These are very large sinusoidal space. The pointer is in a. Yeah. 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 Mr. Mani, the pointer is placed in where? That's a concha by the side. So very good. Miasus. That's one of these. <laughs> because it's a concha overline. Yeah. The concha overline. Okay. So that's the need of Miasus right there. Very good. And there we see the concha right there. And there you can see how the cartilage just fitting in to the bone to complete the nasal septum. Okay. <laughs> So this is going right up here now, going right up, right up, right up, and this is the snout of the animal. So this is the snout right here, and this is the upper part of the nose up here. That's the nose that we're looking at, with a lot of hair, sebaceous glands, lots of sebaceous glands, etc. So that's outside. End of story. Stop one know. point on this one. I'm sure the yeah? Yeah, ma'am. So if you want me, if there's anything that I if you want me to go over, um, just let me know, I'm more than happy. Okay. So there you see it. So this is basically where the, the cartilage is just fitting into the bone. So there you see the wedge shaped cartilage right here, see the right? Right there, fitting right in. Okay? So there it is, and that's the whole um, nasal septum coming down. As I said, partly bone, partly cartilage. So we know that we're sort of more to the anterior aspect of the nasal cavity. Far, far. That's Posteriorly, we wouldn't be getting any of that at all. Okay? So this is all solid bone around here, the maxilla. So most likely this is all the maxillary here, with the maxillary. This is in fact the maxilla right here, and this is the alveolar process of the maxilla with the teeth. So that's the teeth right here. Okay? But you know that it's a 2 Very good. Let's move on. Dr. Garner, yes. how do you know, Dr. Garner, yes. you know that it's a tooth? Experience. Or... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't have to know teeth. You, 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 you don't have to know tooth morphology. All right. Or should you think we should do tooth morphology? No! Crazy. No, I'll get somebody let me just one larynx tonight. Just one. Now I found a beautiful slide of the larynx here. This is really in fact I showed Mr. Dr. Fletcher just before the lab. I was quite excited about this. <laughs> Alright, okay, now there you see a lot of what? Lymphoid tissue. So that's a lot of lymphoid tissue here. But this is a very, very unusual cut. See, this is a very, very unusual cut. This is a very unusual cut that we're looking at here. Because what intrigued me is that, except for, hold on, what's happening here? Because there is a thyroid cartilage, you see thyroid, that's a V-shaped thyroid cartilage. And then here is the laryngeal, the, the laryngeal arm, the lumen, the, the space within, you know, it's subdivided into the vestibule, the various hypolarynx, the various um, compartments. But what I notice strange is I said, look, this is very strange. What do I notice? That this cavity is no confluent with this cavity behind here. That's rather strange. I've never seen this before. So what you notice is, this is a slide at the level of the vestibule, at the level of the laryngeal inlet. 
So what you're seeing basically here is the laryngo pharynx, and this is now leading in a right here now. So this is a section cut right across at a very high level, and that's how we're now seeing the laryngeal um, space. Sorry, the, the, the laryngopharynx now just leading into what? This vestibule of the larynx to the laryngeal inlet. You understand that or not? No. So this is a section that is done. So imagine that the larynx like that, go way, 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 way really at nearly towards the top. So going right through the thyroid cartilage, but right through at the level of the vestibule, so it's now confident it goes right through the laryngeal inlet into now the laryngopharynx. So this is pharyngeal wall. See, this is the inferior constrictor of the pharynx. What are the two muscles that form the inferior constrictor of the pharynx? Your heart, the cricopharyngeus and the thyropharyngeus. Very, very good. The cricopharyngeus and the thyropharyngeus. Okay. So this is just now above the level now of the esophagus. And when we look at the lining epithelium, what type of lining epithelium would we expect to find in the laryngopharynx? What type of epithelium would you expect to find in the laryngopharynx? Stratified squamous. So the only part of the pharynx that has respiratory epithelium is what? The nasopharynx. The nasopharynx has respiratory epithelium, but the oropharynx and the laryngopharynx have stratified squamous wear and tear epithelium. So this is at the level of the laryngopharynx. Alright? So always in these transition areas in the body you get a lot of lymphoid tissue. So there's a lot of lymphoid tissue. And now when we get into the larynx here, we find now that we should be having what? Respiratory epithelium. Okay? So in the vestibule of the larynx right here, we should be having what? Respiratory epithelium. And if we look at that, that is respiratory epithelium right here. Okay? Not very good because it's seen so dark. So they over this unfortunately. And there we also see some of the muscles of the larynx. Okay? So it could be the area epiglotticus, any one of these muscles, all right? And what else I also observed on this slide, just for interest, see, just for interest, see, these would appear to be the superior horns of the thyroid cartilage. I suspect these are the superior horns of the thyroid cartilage, here and over on the other side. Okay, right over here. See, right there? Okay. Alright, so it's quite a nice slide, but you won't be getting this in the exam. I think we only have one of these. So just for what? Academic interest. Now, let us move on now and look now at the trachea. But the epiglottis, let's look at the epiglottis again. Alright, but anybody has a good larynx slide, they want me to just review the larynx? Anybody has a good slide of the larynx? Would they like me to review it? Hmm? Anyone on the side of the line for a quick review? Now there we are looking at the epiglottis. This is not a very good slide of it. Also don't miss that if you can of the Monique, you have a slide of the epiglottis? Any of you right here? Side of the epiglottis. Actually, you have a side of the epiglottis? Very good. Monique, yes. Yeah. There's a slide. Don't put your initial on it. Put that the initial on it. Yeah, yeah. Put it in my bag. Yeah, put it in the floor. Yeah, but you can put it in the floor. Just keep putting it in the floor. You have any finish on it? Yeah, very good. Alright. Okay. Alright, so there we are looking at another slide now. Wow, look at that. So this is another slide of the larynx. Okay. Now, 